Hey, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Let's Animate, a side piece edition. A little, little something on the side, just, just, just kind of right next to, but not quite touching. It's back a little bit and, and just six inches to the side, like not forward, but just to the side over here. And it's just a little something you can stick your hand in when you, when you want to feel warm and you want to feel cozy you just you find this side piece and you just right there and and you mess around for a bit and and you draw a funny looking horse and you put weird borderline racially disparate mustaches on people who you've never met but somehow feel comfortable animating for some reason <laughs> oh that just hit me but <laughs> How ridiculous that is. Like, I've never met this guy, but oh yeah, I'll put a funny mustache on him and I'll make one of them on the internet. It's all in good fun. It, there's no no malice. Um, whether that makes it okay or not, I, I don't know. Um, we're making a big mess of our of our layers window here. Um, I will have to go in at some point and, and kind of tidy that all up um, just because we don't, uh, don't want to have something that's just so messy that you know you can't even make sense of it um i'm gonna drop this down to two i think and we're just again we just use very um pre-existing images here for just very general sort of laying out where things are going to be i'm not going to copy these things exactly 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 i know uh you know, I'm very, very aware and, and sensitive to uh, to using other people's other people's hard work, and um, it's just it's an inspiration. It's a placeholder. It, it tells me that I want to put a glove here. Um, you know, you don't have the uh, the copyright on uh, on on uh, you know the glove. You know, the night gauntlet is <laughs> not something that you you own. Um, but obviously, I mean, I'm not going to use the exact image. Um, because the exact image is what you, you, you own, um, my interpretation of it, um, based on, on your image is, is, is up to me. But yeah, we're, we're moving along here. It's going to be, you know, I've said this already. I'll say it again. It's not a gimme. It's not a slam dunk. This, uh, this video is going to be a lot of work and, um, And I'm hoping that we're able to breeze through some of it. I'm gonna have to do some of the some of the hard stuff on my own, just so that we can make progress and not get distracted. You know, when it comes time to do things like uh, like bring order to the to the layer window, or uh, or rig up some bones and uh, put in the actual blood, sweat, and tears required to make this thing come to life. Especially when it comes time to design the uh, the robot NL, that's gonna be that's gonna be something. It's gonna be a task and a half. Coming up with something that I'm pleased with, at least enough to uh, to uh, to go ahead with. But yeah, so there's our gauntlet outline. Um, we will put a shape on the top here. Um, it'll probably end up being a knife and a fork in there. Um, and then um, we'll put these layers in here. And then the layers around the fingers. Uh, maybe throw some of the shading on there. Um, but, um, yeah. I wonder if we can do that. We'll throw, we'll turn this, we'll put a chunk here own layer and throw a shading layer shading into it and then one down here and have it kind of come this way form like that then this will become its own brown sort of leather backing um, with a knife and fork on it and then uh, and then the rest will be um, will be the fingers yeah I think I like that and we'll just throw um, we'll just literally throw it let's take the um, take the stroke off because that way I can get in here 
much with much greater detail. Um, yeah, so I was talking earlier about how, uh, oh yeah, there's not much going on. It's been so quiet and, uh, you know, uh, not much happening other than the weekend I've got I'm looking forward to. Um, and that still is, is the case um, that I have the weekend looking forward to. But then my wife decides to come home for uh, for lunch and she's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, uh, this, this, and this is going on. <laughs> and I'm like, holy jeez, I, I just said that there was nothing going on, nothing happening, kind of quiet. And now all of a sudden you come waltzing in here and, and turn the whole world topsy-turvy. Like, did you ever think about what I, I wanted to say to that there lady? And then she smacked me and went home back to work. And I was like, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, that's not the case. No, it's the opposite of that. I'm the one who just, no, that's not the case either. There's no smacking, very little smacking. There's very little non-consensual smacking that goes on in this domicile. Um, <laughs> I don't know how we got to this topic but yeah yeah so now it turns out i've actually have you know the dreaded p word for the weekend you know plans i hate that there's nothing worse i hate that word i don't know what it is maybe it's because i'm a borderline shut-in but it's like just hearing someone say oh what are your plans for the weekend i'm like oh don't say that i hate that word don't even don't don't even um so yeah so how do we want to do i think we just want I just want, uh, should I make my own bone layer for the gauntlets? I like using bone layers as a way to just keep everything in check here. If I move this in here, does this shrink it? Do anything funny with it? No. New vector. And we're going to call this uh, gaunt um, 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 body. This is the gauntlet, the body of the gauntlet. And it's going to be exactly the same as this. Wait, you're going to take that and then you're going to eye drop that. Take that stroke off. There we go. Um, and so how are we going to do it? Let's minimize this. We're going to take this. Like we said, we're going to just kind of pull this into here. And kind of make it like this. I think if we do it with a, this kind of a shape here, and then we're going to do basically the exact same thing, flip it like this. Of course, we'll we'll have it match the body after, like the rest of the gauntlet after. But just come in here and just kind of do this. And the objective here, or the idea. For me, at least, the way that this makes sense is that we will now take one and we'll throw a shading effect on it. After I just finished saying how I don't understand how shading works, the blur I think we want to be low for. Did that get worse or did that get better? 72? Doesn't change. We'll go back to 8. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll mess around with this a little bit. Um, we want a lower number on the uh, on the offset, I guess. Yeah, that's better. And then we want um, the light angle. We want like the lightest part. And this is where I think Blender would would be just a huge, huge advantage. I don't even care if it's if it's accurate like it doesn't have to be right it just has to be different like instead of all these solid colors everywhere just I want something that's that's shaded right I want something that oh god I just eye dropped that I just want something that is uh, different from the rest of the um, from the rest of the of the picture of the uh, of the drawing and so long as it's got some color to it, some shading to it, I'm happy. You know, it, it, it sounds cheap, and it and, and is in a way. Um, but again, I'm not going to apologize for that because, like I always say, I'm not, I'm not an animator. That's not why they pay me the big bucks. I get paid the big bucks for all kinds of other reasons. At least in my head, I get paid the big bucks. Um, yeah, so that's going to be like that. 
and we'll probably form the other the rest of the gauntlet around it right and it should be much more angular so I think that's yeah we'll go like that or just have it come up and meet where the uh, the thumbs start um, yeah and the thumbs start to have these strange positions on them here that's really 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 tough to do here um, I got my fingers all out of whack this will come here this will go here we'll have this come up angular very angular can't be afraid to put points on this because they are it is armor right it's it's plate mail it's it's meant to be uh, sharp and, and not very inviting um, so we will do it in in that way there we go just to uh, Right, so we got this section formed here, we've got this section formed here, and we've got this section formed here. So I should now be able to come in here, and I'm even going to give it a new layer. I'm going to do this um, um, gauntlet gauntlet lines, and uh, this is not the way to do things, but whoa, that's why is that so big? What? Uh, we'll do it like that. Yeah. Okay, except that should be darker. That should be like a pretty dark, yeah. The one under the R there, I think, is what I've been using, right? Okay. So we're going to go along and we're going to do that everywhere here. <laughs> it's kind of horrible. We want this to come up. And I don't mind this, this taper effect. I mean, sometimes I don't, uh, I don't want it. I get rid of it but I always I tend to come back to it again it's just it's more it's about having something that's that looks different right too much the edit everything was the same lines it just it, everything starts to look really really blocky and in the absence of knowing how to do all these these you know interesting textures and, and shades um, on one piece right I mean uh, can you imagine like doing this in in a blender or something um, would would take, I would imagine even a professional would probably take hours. It would take me days. My hours are, are days, um, and I just don't have that. So I just take like very cheap ways around all that stuff, right? In order to piece together something that uh, that has a look um, similar to what I'm going for, and um, and if I can get to that, then then great. And even if it has to be in the most uh, the most clumsy way imaginable. Um, I'll call this gauntlet leather. This is just going to be a brown, a brown shape here. Um, that is not shaded, at least not yet, and it's kind of a brown and has no stroke. And uh, we're just going to plop that everywhere in here that the uh, the metal is not, and then we'll come along after and. Uh, Make sure it syncs up to to our vision of what a. Uh, I want to put that gold band in there, or maybe a band of some kind, right? Just to break up the. Yeah, just to break up. The big chunk of of brown. So it doesn't all blend into one one sort of boring thing. Um. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, so when I get back from from the bush, it's probably gonna be uh, an all all blender all the time kind of couple of days. Um, I hopefully have enough backlog to. Uh, oh, another stretch. I must be tired. Yeah, it's almost busy time here. I I cannot believe where the days go. It's like when I'm recording, it's just. It's unbelievable. Like I say, I woke up. I had, uh, uh, you know, a relatively productive morning, minor distraction, and then back on, on pace. Before, um, 
before lunch, before recording, recorded into lunch. You know, wife came home, had lunch. Um, then you went right back to recording a couple of, uh, of these anim Let's Animate, and now it's like the day's over. Or at least the, uh, where is his body body? There we go. There, see, so now you can kind of see we get in some, some mail in here, some, uh, uh, let's put in a, a chain mail vector up here. If it's going to pop up down here. Layer 22. I guess we can leave it here in the body. Um, we're going to call it uh, chain mail. And it's going to end up just being like a dark blob. That's the problem with doing these these very militaristic or... Uh, um, yeah, I guess militaristic type things is the right word. It just it ends up being all so um, monotone, right? Like it's uh, it really just becomes. I'm trying to throw some blue in there, and you see how that looks. It's not not the greatest. It just it demands, pretty much demands to be gray, and it's kind of uh, kind of off putting. But realistically, the uh, the chainmail would be. Uh, Um, it would have highlights of, of lighter in it, right? It, it's I, I picture it dark, but it comes in dark and uh, and uh, and light as well. Um, so you could have something like this. So that's got to be wow. Yeah, the stroke lines are something that I've always struggled with. How they they work, whether when you zoom in. Um, and we're just trying to deceive almost here. Um, right, it's not trying to be, um, it's not trying to be, uh, an accurate depiction of an arm. We're just trying to deceive the viewer into thinking that there is, uh, an arm here. Um, There, how does that end up looking? Well, that ends up looking, it's better. I mean, it's not great, obviously, but it's uh, it's better. And it's going to be a shorter one. I think I'm going to call it here. I am going to go on my own to throw in a, a thing here with a strap and then uh, the reins coming over into his hand and kind of draping down. Um, we want to Oh, yeah, we want to throw the knife and fork on there. See, the shading, I think, ended up working, right? Like, it, it, the, the point has come across where this is also going to get darkened to really show... Uh, the two layers around this, uh, I'm looking at the wrong spot because I'm doing this on the rendering. I think the shading worked out. Um, this is going to be darkened with some outlines to show very much a, um, uh, a layered effect here. And then one after it. Um, but yeah, so you can see how I, like, like I say, like I start off with this as a placeholder, get the idea of what I want, and then I, I make it my own, right? I mean, I'm not, it's not a straight up steal. It's, I, I, I justify it till the cows come home, but I don't think anybody really cares. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. And uh, yeah, things are going good. Hopefully this, this comes through to fruition and, uh, and we get a, uh, a satisfying video out of it. Otherwise, it's just a waste of everyone's time. Um, tidy some of this stuff up, obviously. I looked for a helmet, and um, I don't see one that I like, so we're just going to make our own. Uh, I was looking at some of them and coming up with you know, some of the common features of, of what night helmets have. You know, It's easy to think in your head, oh yeah, you know, like what you would see in the cartoons. And you know, it makes sense. I mean, I know what I'm thinking of, and I'm sure a lot of people uh, also know what I'm thinking of. But to actually go through and say, okay, well, where, do, how do these things end up looking? What do they actually, what do they actually look like? Um, it, it's a bit of a different story. So um, I went through to see some of the features, and a lot of them will have like a doubled, right, as if there's a visor here. So we'll put like a layer um, on here that's slightly different from the rest, and then we're going to do something with the top. I always wanted to have a, a spike or something on the top, maybe a. A little thing with a, a red flowing uh, horsetail type uh, type deal at the top to uh, to leave it as is, and 
oh yeah when we do the other one one of the scenes is is one of the one of the nls getting cleaved in the head and uh, again this guy i never know never met it just oh it's a world of funny place it's parody it's satire he's a he's a public figure he's got to deal with it uh especially when there's no malice intended so uh just uh just gonna have to live with it um but yeah, he's gonna get cleaved, and it'll be a crack in his head, and of course, yolk yolk is gonna come out, and that's uh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to doing the most is uh, some of the the close-ups and and the the ridiculous positions that we're gonna put uh, all our various NLs, uh, the and the members of the NL armies in, and it's gonna be uh, gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. But until next time, thanks very much. See you soon.